I'm Dan Johnson and I'm talking with Tom Carr who is the developer of this aircraft called Excalibur. Tell me a little bit about the Excalibur, Tom. Well, we started 25 years ago in Sebring, Florida and we wanted to give the airplane some special features that perhaps others didn't have in this price range. So we came up with a, a concept that would include an airplane that has all push-pull tubes, no cables whatsoever, and the customer seemed to really be impressed with that. And then we have the wide body feature that will fit everyone comfortable, from the thin guy to the really big guy. We've got real flaps as opposed to flaperons. Uh, we use certified 2.7 ounce fabric as opposed to the ultralight fabric that some companies use. We have a spring-activated nose gear, which is very popular. We have the shock cord landing gear on the main gear. Now, this is very important because with the shock cord, the shock cord takes the stress away from the fuselage or the airframe. So instead of the gear legs having to bend and flex when you have a hard landing, they don't bend at all. The shock cord does the work, saving the gear legs and the airframe. Makes and we sense. have a lot of other special features, too. We put the engine upright as opposed to upside down. We love the Rotax engines and the hearth. And our kit comes standard with the 55-horse hearth, which is air-cooled. Or you can have the water-cooled 582, 65-horse, or the 65-horse hearth. And then, of course, we have the gearbox as opposed to a belt drive. We sport a 68-inch prop, Dan, which is ground-adjustable. Very easy to insert a third blade, too, if you want one, instead of having to buy a whole new three-blade prop. So we're very popular uh, with a lot of folks. We uh, have been out there for 25 years. We've got a perfect safety record, and we've got engines that were quite a variety, including the 80-horsepower Jabiru or the 912 Rotax. You've installed all those engines, and they have been flown with those engines? We haven't installed the 912 Rotax yet, but okay. we've got about five of the Jabiru's out there. All right. They're very popular. The, the 2200 with the 80 horsepower? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. 81, I think it is, actually. But. Well, I've heard some people say it's even 85, so Could be. Anyway, that engine, anyway, the four-cylinder <laughs> engine. Somewhere in there. We have a adjustable horizontal stabilizer, so if the individual wants to adjust the leading edge angle, of the horizontal stabilizer. There's a modification for that, very simple to do, okay? We have streamlined struts for the main uh, struts for the wing, uh, hydraulic brakes. First of all, that it, that it is only available as a kit, is that correct? This is correct. Okay. What would it take them to build this airplane? Realistically, it can, re it can be done in 150 hours. 150, because okay. Because when they get the kit, the tail is already built for them. All okay. they have to do the is entire cover tail. with fabric. Right. Oh, uh, all the, the, the bare bones part of it then. Well, when they get you the still kit. still got to cover it. Yeah, well, they just have to cover it because it's already built. All the tail surfaces are built. There's no building to do. When they get the wings, the wings are already built. All they have to do is install the ribs every 12 inches, which they could do one wing in one day cover with fabric and paint and then the airframe comes it's all built you've got the seats in you've got the controls in the front seat and back seat all they have to do is install their landing gear with the hydraulic brakes for the main wheels uh, wrap the shock cord around the uh, system now and that you mentioned shock cord a couple of times so I'll point out that visually right here I don't see it so it's evidently in probably right after that seat I'm guessing right yeah you can't really see it but it is certified aircraft grade shock cord and it's behind the rear seat and it's 24 wraps of this shock cord oh, wow. around each gear leg. So it's really, really solid, but yet when you land, it's very soft. In fact, I've had customers say they can't really feel it when they land because <laughs> it's just, you know, it's a cushiony effect, which is what we wanted. So the door kit would be an option and they can make the doors any size or shape they want. Same with the windshield, they can lower make that it? smaller. Well, yeah, if you'd like to close that, there's a rod there. Oh, I see it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, do that while you describe it. You can do that, yep. There you go. And then uh, I we I wanted everybody do have... to see the size of the door here because getting in the back seat of some of these tandem aircraft 
is a real struggle. You got to be a contortionist, right? Obviously well, not here. You could, you could. Uh, I would assume you enter by far leg over the stick and around that side, and then put your rear end in. Well, that's a very keen observation, Dan. But here's something that we've come up with that's going to really make a lot of people happy. We have lowered the side rail ah, all the okay. way down so that it's no higher than the top of the seat cushion. So you can just slide right in. You don't have to go over anything. Okay, great. And that's on our new 2021 models. That's so just that, propped open there, folks. But yeah, that to give fine. you an idea of the size of the uh, door that it's got. And, of course, it's all clear, too, you see. So, All right. So uh, the construction materials used. Now, you're doing a lot of the work, but it's, uh, it's significantly a aluminum tubing uh, main structure. Is that correct? Right, it's all aircraft grade and certified 6061 T6. And then all of the weldments for the landing gear are chromoly steel. So when a person gets the kit, there are no parts to make, Dan. There's no welding to do, and there are no critical holes to drill. All that's done at the factory. So we make it in such a way that they can't make a mistake. Okay, great. And uh, somebody's going to ask, so I'll ask it for you. If you do all that work, are you still making the 51% rule? Although that's not the name of it, but that's how many people know it. So Absolutely. We're on the FAA pre-approved list for okay. home-built kits, 51%. And so we've been doing this for 25 years, and we just love it. We love it. How many, uh, how many aircraft are flying, Tom? Between 850 and 900. Okay. You so, know. so quite a fleet out there then. <laughs> yeah, good. And uh, we're always trying and to when, when did the first one go out the door? In 1997. 97, okay. Yep, so so now, we offer a free DVD, Dan, to anyone who wants one. They can just uh, send us their email address to uh, Tom at TomCar.com. That's the email address. Okay. Tom at TomCar.com. They can get that off the website, Excalibur Aircraft. Okay, great, great. They just go to the website then. They can find your email right. address. Ask you and you'll give them a free DVD, which shows what? Well, everything. Customer interviews, uh, how the airplane is built, okay. how it flies, flying sequences, landing hard sequences to demonstrate the shock core landing gear. But they can also go to one of my popular places, my most favorite places for information, danjohnson.com, <laughs> or specifically by Dan Johnson. I think he's com. bucking for something special here. Well, hey, listen, that's where <laughs> I go. I'm just kidding. That's where I go for information. Thank so, you very kindly. Um, you know, we're very pleased with everything, and this is our first time at Sun and Fun. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, I know yep. we've been seeing you at Sebring for a while when there was a Sebring. <laughs> uh, we saw you there many times. Right. This is your first visit to Sun and Fun. Yeah, huh? yep, first well, time. Well, I think you picked a good year to come back because, my goodness, it's uh, the crowds are streaming in here this they morning. I saw been. a video. Uh, unbelievable. They're parked all the way back to the road. <laughs> That's a really full parking lot. It sure is. So, good time to come to Sun and Fun, Tom. Well, we're glad you came and stopped by. All right. Well, I've asked you a bunch of questions. You've answered most of the ones that probably people typically ask you. For those that want to dig deeper, who want to place an order, tell me your website address. We'll put it up on the screen for everybody. Okay, it's ExcaliburAircraft.com. Perfect. And okay. another point, too. All right. If they want to see all of our videos, they can go to YouTube, and they have to type in both words, Excalibur Aircraft. Okay. If they just type in Excalibur, they're going to get everything named Excalibur. Yeah, sure. A, a cruise ship, a casino, and everything. I'm sure so they get that. Excalibur Aircraft, and they'll be inundated with lots of informative videos. Great stuff there. All right, more stuff you can find about these kind of aircraft, as Tom said, on bydanjohnson.com, all sorts of affordable aviation. Uh, one thing I didn't ask you, though, since I mentioned affordable, <laughs> what to get one of these in the air with that engine, let's say, that's is that the one you're talking about, the 55 yes. horse? I can't uh -huh. quite see it yes. from here. but Okay, so with that engine and an average suite of stuff that people put in there, right. what would you get it in the air for approximately, understanding that this is this year and it may change in the future, folks? Right. Our current price in April of 2021 is $33,750. Now, that includes everything for a complete flyable airplane except the instruments. Okay. And and if you used analog instruments like you've got here, you're talking another $1,000, $2,000 maybe. Well, not really. Like they're about $800, $900 uh, because they're kind of being phased out with oh. all the iPads being used and and flat screens, you know. Sure. So, okay. So, so you're not going to add a lot more. And I'm trying to make the point about is that this is a pretty affordable It's a very airport. affordable plane. I think it's one of the best deals here at the show. And uh, we, we didn't do a couple of numbers. Tell me what kind of capacity the airplane can carry. And then I want to do a few speeds with you before we wrap up the video. Okay. We have a 600 pound payload. Okay. Gross weight. Payload or useful load? I'm sorry. Useful load. Okay. <laughs> How much fuel on board? 
Well, the standard is 10 gallons, but we have wing tanks available. Which They're make nine it gallons oh. each, so that's 18, 26, so 28. You could, you 28 could have gallons. 28 gallons of fuel on board, yeah. but if you just had the standard, that's 10. Mm -hmm. So that's 60 pounds off of that useful load number. Then exactly. To get a payload number. Exactly. Okay, great. So 540 pounds. So the pounds. point is, it'll carry a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, now, we you have don't a very have, large You don't have too wing. much baggage area. You might have a little back there, but not much. Uh, but you can sure carry a couple of big guys in here. Well, what some people like to do is take that 10-gallon tank out and use that whole area for storage and just go with the wing tanks. Oh, I see. Okay. So then you'd be a slight difference in the calculations. You can do that yourself, folks. But the uh, point is, it carries a lot. Exactly. Talk to me about a few speeds, stall speed, um, uh, cruise speed, and uh, V&E. Okay. V&E is 100. Stall it's speed 100 is 100 what? 100 miles per miles hour. Miles per hour. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, stall speed is 32 miles per hour. Okay. And Very slow. cruise can be anywhere from 65 to 90. Okay. Depending on how fast Engine you want to cruise. I mean, so I huh? like to go very slow, smell the roses. You know, lots of us like that way, but uh -huh. some people want to go faster. Now the fuel burn is about two and a half gallons an hour at say 65. With that engine. With the standard small engine, right. Okay. And then if you want to cruise at 90, you're probably looking at three to three and a half gallons an hour. Okay. But that's still less than $10 an hour or very maybe economical. just a little over $10 an hour. Okay. So it's a very economical airplane to, to own and to operate. And I also see it looks like it's got uh, a single brake, uh, bicycle brake lever type on the front of the joystick and the uh, forward seat. Is that well, correct? That's correct. We've also... But you do have full dual controls, and, and I'm going to reach down the camera. Maybe can't see this, but I have my hand now on the rudder pedal. So the aft person uh, has his feet over here to the side, pretty well outside of the seat, which itself is pretty generous. So it looks to me like two people fit in there actually quite well. Well, what happens is when there's... if you when we For the new model where we lower the side rail all the way, then that uh, rudder pedal you just held folds down. Oh, okay. So now when you slide in the seat... There's nothing in the way. You won't hit yourself on something. And uh, I see. Okay, so what we're seeing here is actually not representative. It's actually lower. Is oh, that right. It's all the way down, 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 right about, right about there. The, okay. To so, the level. So think of, about that, folks. That's, to the that's top of almost the seat a foot cushion. lower, maybe eight or ten inches lower than so, what you're seeing here in this. So view. it's going to be like completely wide open, like a drifter. Yeah. Unless great. you put the doors on there, and then you can make the doors longer. To come down and to, fill you in still that have space. full coverage doors. Mm -hmm. in. Yep. Okay, great stuff, Tom. All right, so more stuff about uh, this airplane and all kinds of affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Tom Carr of Excalibur Aircraft and myself here at Sun and Fun 2021. Thank you, Dan.